The 28th stock meeting has achieved tangible results after five days of very productive meeting. So on behalf of the government, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to you all for contributing your precious time and wisdom. During the uh, opening ceremony, I mentioned the Intelligent Taiwan Initiative put forward by President Ma during his uh, presidential campaign. The objective of this meeting is to use the discussion results about, by our advisors, the experts, to formulate the critical action plans and the strategies for the government to implement for the benefit of the general public. So I heard from the conclusion reports just presented here, many concrete and innovative recommendations, all of which should be the focus of our efforts in the future. I would like to request the Minister Chen to coordinate the different government agencies for the implementation of such recommendations. I would also like to ask Dr. Wen and our distinguished advisors to continue to assist us in the realization of our goals. So I agree with the recommendations put forward by our science and technology advisors. In particular, I would like to mention the following. First, the promotion of a kinematics industry can help minimize carbon emission and improve safety of uh, the vehicle traffic. It presents an opportunity for us to maintain the competitiveness of our ICT industry and to create another wave of industry transformation. Just like the recommendations from our advisors and experts, we need to improve the integration among government agencies and among different industries in order to create an environment conducive to industry development. From a discussion in our meeting, we know that using living lab concept for our innovative uh, application should be a very efficient way to facilitate the development of a telematic industry. The second point is, in the promotion of broadband policy, uh, we will continue to build uh, optical networks and expand the use of uh, broadband in remote areas. In addition to the realization of goals of providing broadband access to all remote areas, we will amend relevant legislations in order to, to meet the industry requirements for digital convergence and to create a fair environment for competition. This will include the amendment of the broadband broad, uh, broadcasting acts and the Telecommunication Act, which will take place in two stages. We hope that the amendments will provide the telecom and the broadband industry a fair and an equal competition environment. Thirdly, the promotion of telehealth uh, healthcare service will help improve the quality of Medicare and the low lower the national health insurance uh, expenses. This is an important measure in response to the need of uh, aging society. In our uh, future implementation, uh, we will follow the advice of our advisors and use the uh, pilot projects to help community, uh, the community residents improve their ability to monitor their health. Uh, in, by doing this, of course, 
we need to uh, address uh, special uh, uh, attention to the uh, uh, privacy issue. We will build upon this foundation and create a, a model of communities uh, with the established service mo uh, models. Uh, we will carry out analysis of the projects, uh, the practice cost efficiency to facilitate uh, the development. Uh, and the fourth point uh, I'd like to mention is the area of a culture and creativity. Taiwan has a very rich culture and natural resource, uh, and natural beauty, and, and good infrastructure. Uh, this should be uh, should all be integrated uh, with the uh, uh, a cultural and creative industry. The government should license to the government uh, to the public the digital achievements of the National Palace Museum in order to uh, stimulate the creativity. The digital uh, 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 archive should also be uh, incorporated into a wide array of uh, products and services to use as a, assist the, create, the creative activities and the performances. The digital uh, digitalization should be used in conjunction with the National Science Museum to attract the cultural tourism. The last point I would like to uh, mention is so in our society, university education has become a popular and development university should focus on realization and classification of universities and development of the unique features. The uh, curriculum should also focus on development of uh, talent in specialized fields of disciplines with diverse prop with with, with uh, diverse problem solving abilities. I think that's very important, and this will help realize the goal of uh, intelligent Taiwan, which is to maximize the potential of uh, every talent. Because after all, the talent is the the only resource of this nation. The 28th staff meeting has come to a successful conclusion. The relevant government agencies should quickly formulate the implementation programs in accordance with the conclusions and recommendations of our meeting and submit the proposal to the Executive Yuan for review. And this will enable us to incorporate these conclusions and the recommendations into government policy. And at the same time, ensure a timely implementation to maintain Taiwan's international competitiveness. As we come to the end of the meeting, I would like to once again express my sincerest gratitude to our advisors, experts who have participated in the meeting over the past five days. I would also like to thank the staff of the organizing committee led by Dr. Chen for their tireless effort. Lastly, I wish all of you very good health, success, and a very pleasant stay in Taipei. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.